This is Brent with Lycans Motorsports. We are looking at a completely finished Ford 363 cubic inch small block. Just got it on the engine cradle and uh, drove in the rear freeze plugs a few minutes ago. I'm gonna try a plethora of carb spacers. I uh, went ahead and bought a two inch super sucker um, just in anticipation for it needing plenty of volume. We'll see how close I am when we get it on the dyno. But um, oil pump is primed. Got plenty of oil everywhere. Um, ready to rock and roll. Just wanted to put up a, a finished product. Got some new uh, laser engraved valve covers. I did have to open up the uh, the bolt holes in the valve covers and just enough to let them slide upward a little bit. They were contacting the stud girdle, but that's uh, a common thing and easily fixed. But here's where we sit. This is a good looking motor. So let's just recap everything that we got going on here. It is a World Products Man of War block four and an eighth inch bore. Um, the crankshaft is a steel Molnar 3400. So if you do the math, 4125 by 3400 stroke, you end up at around 363 cubic inches. Pistons are Male flat tops um, with a one millimeter, one millimeter, two millimeter ring pack. Using some Molnar, uh, what they call power adder. 5400 connecting rods. Heads are AFR 205cc heads. They are as ported from AFR. I did upgrade the uh, valve spring retainers to titanium retainers and reset the install height to get a little bit more pressure. Camshaft is one of my custom solid rollers using some Crower solid roller lifters, Smith Brothers push rods, a fully ported Victor Jr. intake, flows an average 380 CFM across each runner. Coy's billet timing set, new timing cover, Mazir electric water pump, an MSD billet distributor. I opted for the big cap. The big cap is a little bit better in race situations because you get less spark scatter between the um, between the plug wires. Got some Crower stainless rocker arms under the valve covers and an AFR stud girdle. What a beauty. Moroso oil pan with billet pan rail to clear the uh, the four bolt main caps. All right guys, I plan to have this one on the dyno uh, hopefully next week. I'm expecting a week's worth of, of thunderstorms. Um, I'd like to get a couple of inches dyno, but we'll just have to play it by ear. So um, keep your fingers crossed and I will post a dyno video and some results and a recap uh, once that happens. As always, thank you very much for subscribing to the channel. Please su subscribe if you haven't done so to see killer four builds such as this. And hit that thumbs up button on your way out. All right, guys, this is, uh, this is Brent with Likens Motorsports and my little 363 buddy saying goodbye. Have a good weekend.